Now that you've had some fun making lava lamps of your own, let's talk about how they can teach us about weather. First up, rain. Before we can fully understand how a lava lamp relates to rain, we have to understand why it rains. Rain happens as part of something called the water cycle. In the water cycle, the sun first heats water and the particles of water then start to rise. When they get high enough, the particles come together and form clouds. When the clouds get enough water, they get heavy and the water falls as rain. So how is that like what we saw in our lava lamps? Well, here's a quick picture. The tablets that you dropped into the lava lamp release a gas called carbon dioxide. The gas bubbles make the water lighter than the oil, and so the water parts that are colored rise to the top. When the bubbles of gas burst at the top, the water's heavy again and it falls down, kind of like rain. Now let's watch a video of our lava lamp again knowing what we know about how it represents rain. Lava lamps can also represent wind. Wind is air moving from one place to another. What you might not know is air is made of teeny tiny little particles, which you can feel as the wind blows past you. That's also why wind can move things like leaves or help you fly a kite. Now this air moves because of something called convection. Now convection is a pretty big word. What does that mean? Let's think about being on a nice beach on a hot summer's day. The sun is going to be shining down and its rays will heat up the air that's closer to the earth. The air particles will heat up and they'll rise up into the air. Cooler air is going to move in and rush in to take its place. That's what makes wind. And wind is what helps us do things like fly our kites. Now a different kind of lava lamp is you needed to talk about wind. In this kind of lava lamp, we have a heat lamp in the base and there's two different kinds of liquids inside the lamp itself. In this kind of lava lamp, as the heat lamp warms the liquids that are inside the lamp, the waxy or oily layer will float to the top. This leaves room for cooler liquid particles to rush in and it results in a circular type of movement. Let's take a look. <laughs> 